let's talk about Matthew Kenny and Bad Vegan. Now, now this story is a great example of how the universe could actually be doing you a favor by pulling you out of a bad situation to get you on the path to your, like your higher good and you know much success. Now, if you remember in the movie Bad Vegan, Matthew Kenny started uh, Pure Food and Wine with Sarma. Then they had a falling out and told the investor, you know, it's either Martha, uh, Matthew or Sarma, pick one. So the investor chose Sarma and Matthew was out. Now, I'm sure at the time that was like a huge, very painful um, for Matthew, right? Because nobody likes to get kicked out of their own business, right, that they started. And so, you know, rough time for him. Okay, now let's fast forward to today. And if you know anything about the vegan plant-based world, Matthew Kenny is hugely, hugely successful. In fact, he has a, a vegan plant-based food empire today. Now, just to give you a glimpse of this massive empire, okay? He has 47 restaurants and storefronts from fine dining to fast casual. There's drive throughs in there. He's got a food delivery service. Um, he even opened up the world's first vegan food hall. So imagine a, a, an entire food hall that's all vegan and plant-based, which is awesome. Um, he's got a frozen food line. He's got uh, a dozen cookbooks. He's done TED Talks and uh, he has a culinary school where he's training future vegan chefs. So, and I'm sure there's more, but that's a lot right there, right? And so I thought it was interesting that the reason the investor chose Sarm over Matthew is because he didn't think Matthew had very good money skills. Well, obviously, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of questioning that because <laughs> given how successful Matthew is now, it's obvious he has some good money skills. Um, because look where he is today, look where Sarma is today. Very, very different. Now, would would Matthew be where he is today had he not gotten removed from Pure Food and Wine? Who knows? Um, but I know if I were him, I'd be looking back at that situation like, ooh, you know, like I dodged a disaster. The universe actually was doing me a favor getting me out of that. So, you know, again, great example. If you're you find yourself in a situation where you've been rejected or ousted. Um, not to take it personally, because maybe the universe was like, look, I need you out of this bad situation so I can get you on the path to your most biggest successes that are yet to come.